Bobby Chadwick. So I'm going to stand so you, I can project better. Can everybody hear me before I, my time starts? Can you hear me? Okay. Good evening, and thank you all for coming and spending this time with us. A special thank you to everyone that helped put this on, and a great big thank you for the Chamber for once again stepping up to their civic plate. Thank you. In 2016, you chose me, Bobby Chadwick, to be your representative for District 3 Trinity County Board of Supervisors. Three years ago, when I was a freshman on the board, it was though I had been recruited to the big leagues, baseball. Our catcher was our pitcher. Our first baseman was our outfielder. Too many individuals were playing too many positions. We were trying to provide law enforcement without a sheriff. We have come a long way since then. We have welcomed to our lineup Dr. Richard Coons, our county administrative officer, Sheriff Saxon, Judge Hurryford, our new DA, Donna Daly. We also welcome to the team a new county supervisor, Jeremy Brown. Still adding to the lineup, Kim Hunter, planning director, Joe Mario, new agriculture commissioner. It's been six years since Trinity County had its own ag commissioner. Think about that. Christina Merritt, Animal Control, Connie Smith, Behavioral Health, Sherry Wright, HRN. One of our newest team members is Jennifer Dobbs. She's our veteran service officer. I welcome her. One of our newest team members, or we moved our Office of Emergency Services, overseen by Ed Presley, to the Health and Human Services. To top it all off, we have our very own Babe Ruth, if you will, our grants writer, Susie Cockums. It's time for Team Trinity. My personal training here has included, but is not limited to, the California State Association of Counties, the California, the National Association of Counties, and the Rural County representing California. I serve on over 20 committees. I co-chair, or vice chair, a multi-county uh, board, and I have chaired for two years another multi-county committee. What have I done last year specifically for District 3? Some of the highlights are organized and executed community fire safety meetings at top of the grade and at poker bar attended by the local neighbors of that community. Caltrans did a pre-assessment of the neighborhoods and then came back to the community to offer them advice. Douglas City Fire Chief John Holland also attended and gave input as well as Charlie Hathos, our Trinity County RCND. I'm happy to say that we were able to acquire grants for both of these communities. I also worked with the Douglas City, in Douglas City with the BLM to eliminate the open fire pits during fire season in the primitive areas. There's a campground there that's very primitive and, and the fires have taken off. So that was a huge concern because there were people on the back side that couldn't get out if that happened. Participated in community wildfires here both in Douglas City and Harry Fork, the community wildfire protection plans and additional fire safety meetings with multi-agencies in, in Hay Fork. It was at the Hay Fork multi-agency that over 20 years ago we had a siren. It's been dormant. And because of that meeting, community members spoke up, and I'm happy to say that with Ed Presley and Tim Spears, we have now a new siren coming into our new hall. I've also been working on Caltrans to acquire a pedestrian crosswalk here locally on Highway 3 between the high school and the dairy store. It has been three years, but I have a light up at the local church where there has been multiple accidents. I have requested that TPUD replace all the lights in the lighting district in Hayford with uh, better lighting, more efficient. I think that was my sign. I've been on a ride along with our Roderick Center as well as our sheriff. The night that we were riding along, we were first on the scene at a fatal fire. I was able to observe our local heroes in uniform as they fought the flames. Thank you to everyone who wears a uniform, no matter what the color. One of the most important things I have learned is networking and building relationships, whether it's with our congressman, senator, or our assemblymen, really it's their staff you work with, or just other board members across the nation. 2020 
I have a clear vision for Team Trinity. What I bring is leadership, experience, and integrity. That's what you voted for, and that's what I've done.